So, welcome back to part three of our AX7 setup session of a new mandate. Uh, in this section, we are going to have a look at the vendor subledger, basically. So, um, means nothing else, then I can close the presentation and go back to AX7. <laughs> Good. Okay, so the vendor subledger as well, of course, will be here in... Um, well, accounts payable, I'm used to the British English, actually, so would be um, purchase ledger, but anyhow, good. So let's do at first the setup. So this means if I go here to the setup, let's have a look at first to the accounts payable parameters, of course. Um, I have to say, um, I will repeat it in every session, it's also my first time with AX7, so I, before these kind of videos, I actually just had a look around five minutes on it. so therefore, uh, it's not really that um, I'm somehow, um, that I'm somehow already used to it, so yeah, but you will see it. <laughs> Good, so, um, first of all, mandatory tax group for the moment, not post received in ledger, I would say definitely because I want to accrue it. Um, somewhere, what is definitely needed somewhere is the posting profile, um, default, blah, 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 invoice validation, um, allow warning, what else, charges matching, 3 may matching is fine, no charges matching is also fine, this is good, sales ledger and tax, and in here I do need to add a posting profile. Um, <laughs> since I'm still not able to to um, go directly to the main table, which is kind of a pity. I do need to go over the long way, so in accounts payable somewhere I should have the vendor posting profiles. Good, so this means I go in here and I say I create a new one, a new one which is called standard. And for the moment, this is already fine because the only thing I want to do is actually just to put this into the accounts payable parameters. So I put in here the standard one, promissory note payments, sales tax on no posting profile for prepayment. We come to it later. Prepayment, sales tax. Sales tax at the time of the invoice register is also fine. In the settlement, um, maximum penny differences, please put it to any kind of amount uh, because otherwise you will end up in problems. So this amount basically will be posted then to the penny differences and if there is an over or under payment, he is going to automatically um, balance the payment um, payment with the invoice if it is um, 0 0.99 euros. Good, so this means uh, we've cre we added the setups for the moment, so quite simple. Next would be the vendor groups. Let's search for this, so here, okay, perfect. So, um, we need to have vendor groups, of course, because of the main accounts. Um, so, the summary accounts, which will be added. So, I just create here one domestic. Um, that's fine. Um, I've create one. Ah, no, let's use here European Union, just for kind of interest debt and kind of interest debt or um, ZM, uh, it's called EU sales list in English, yes, of course, the EU sales list. So therefore, um, I need to have here one ROW, rest of world. And let's use one for IC intercompany, because I do want to have, of course, those on a separated account in the end. Perfect. Um, just as a small hint, never ever Never ever do it by currency, it doesn't make sense at all, and you will always run into problems. So never do it. <laughs> Good. Perfect. So um so we have the vendor groups. We created a standard vendor posting profiles. Of course, I do need to have my main accounts because I just created four in the first section. So of course we do need to have a vendor, the vendor um summary accounts. So this means I go to general ledger, to um, chart of accounts, to accounts, to main accounts.
and I mean totally the wrong <laughs> mandate. <laughs> So this means I um, don't want to be in the that mandate, I want to be in my mandate, which is my company. Sorry for that. Yeah, I want to change it to my company. <clears throat> Good, so okay, now I'm on the main account. So I just quickly make a break because then I'm just going to create exactly the same vendor groups also in my company because before I created it in the debt mandate. Good, and I'm back. So this means nothing else than I can create now my summary accounts. So let's say 20,000 is um, summary or vendor, vendors domestic. Um, of course, it is a balance sheet account. I save it with control and s perfect and of course do not allow manual entry uh, important for the vendor subledger never ever tick here this flag for a currency revaluation because you're going to revaluate it over the subledger and not over the general ledger perfect so um 0010 uh, vendors you european union it's a balance sheet account, uh, save it. I want to say that I don't want to allow manual entry because you're going to use a subledger. 0020, I had vendors, uh, rest of world. Also a balance sheet account, I save it. And I go to tick the do not allow manual entry. Plus, of course, oh yeah, Control and N, by the way, is not working uh, in this new version. It is Alt and N. <laughs> so 0030 uh, vendors intercompany. Also here it is a balance sheet. Control and S. This is still the same. And I say do not allow manual entry. And perfect. So um, we have the main account. So we just need to say now to connect basically the vendor groups to the specific summary accounts. So means nothing else that I can go back to accounts payables and to vendors and this is done not under the vendors but under the setup then. Setup vendor posting profiles. Perfect. So we have of course I need to add here the standard one as well. Standard posting profile. I need to add the whole uh, setup. I will do this exactly the same setup in the parameters as well. Good. Um, so I can click here on add and table would be for a specific vendor, group would be for a vendor group, all would be for all. So the totally normal AX logic. In my case I'm going to say well domestic and the domestic ones should be posted to vendor domestic of course and still not control and N so alt and N. It's just something that you need to get used to it. So um, European Union, and I say in here, European Union, Alt and N, I say group, I say IC, I say here, vendors, intercompany, and I say new, and I say group, and I say the rest of world, which is missing, and perfect. So this is basically all that you need to have. Cancel, yes. Settlement, yes. Makes totally sense. Um, arrival, just if you're going to do it over an arrival journal. We will have a look at it in a later session for the moment. Uh, this is quite fine. It is already fine, actually, in the end. Good. So, um, yeah. Mm, I'm just thinking, yeah, okay, that's fine. So actually, honestly, already, it should actually already work. So this means we can already create um, a vendor posting. Um, yeah, let's do it. So this means nothing else than in the accounts payables, we can go to the invoice and invoice journal. Here as well, <laughs> I still don't get it how I can say here, um, go to main table, which already existed, and I'm quite sure that uh, this also exists. So I need to go the long way because I need to create the journal. So on the general ledger, um, ledger setup, 
journal setup, uh, journal names. And I need to create a new journal, which is called PI for purchase invoice. And this one would be this, the vendor invoice. And again, the problem that I cannot go to the main table. So therefore just add here one voucher series. I quickly save it. And now I need to create a new voucher series. So under organization, administration, um, number sequence, number sequences. I click on number sequence and new number sequence. I say 010 PI for purchase invoice and maybe also here my company which is 010 i say it is not shared it is for the company 010 i don't want to have the company but i want to have a constant which is pi minus just six digits here also just six digits and continuous yes and then i can click control and c and go back to the accounts no to the general ledger and here to journal setup and journal names and just quickly override here this voucher series which is fine good so let's have a look at the yeah, amounts including sales tax is good and we are not going to post any sales tax at the moment so not in this section will be something which we'll have a look in a later section perfect so this means we can go now back to accounts payable vendors no not vendors to 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 to, to where is the to invoice and the invoice journal perfect i can cre create the new one i can say here i can say here i can choose a journal but somehow the journal is missing um because because good question um journal setup journal names do i have the correct type pi ledger vendor invoice vendor invoice recording okay i guess it's this one vendor invoice recording what the, okay vendor let's see um invoices pending no not pending I want to receive an invoice, invoice journal, and new, and voila, purchase invoice, and I can say my first vendor invoice. Good. Um, of course, we can't do anything yet because we need to have a vendor. So. Um, I just quickly created here the journal and I totally forgot to create a vendor. So this should not be a problem. Uh, so I can go to accounts payable and then vendor and vendors to create my first vendor. Good. I click on new and I say my first vendor search name doesn't matter is something that you can search for, of course, but anyhow, um, yeah, it is domestic. I need to add a kind of an address, but normally the address in the end, because he's going to make some other validations at first. So therefore I just leave here the things available. This is also fine. Purchasing demographics, it is in Euro. This is fine. Um, normally, of course, you always have to add here the sales tax group, but we didn't create it the sales tax yet. So therefore for the moment, you can leave it blank. Also regarding the payment, we will just add the things uh, in a later sessions. The same is valid for the financial dimensions, which we are also going to add later on. So for the moment, group domestic is fine. Just quickly add here an address. So I say um, name or description, my first vendor. It is, yep, the purpose business to Germany. Germany is the country region because I had to create German mandate, I say Berlin, Berlin Street, one, two, three, four, seven, and I click on OK. Perfect. And we have the first vendor on which we can post to. Good. Um, of course, the number sequence is now 010 minus 0001, of course, uh, in 
of course you would be able also under the accounts payable and then the setup and then the accounts payable parameter setup to switch this um, number sequence but if you're happy with this number sequence then it's fine but of course you would be able just to say here the vendor account if you click on it then you should end up here on this one here and then you would be able you would have the possibility to say that you want to change it for example that it starts with an 8 and not continuous and yes and then basically the next vendor would start then of course with an 8 Good, perfect. So I just did it this way that here the next number will be 80,000, which is also fine this way. Good. So we have the vendor. We've already created the invoice journal. So we should be able to see it in here still. That's fine. I can go to lines. And in here, the date, the posting date is fine. Account type vendor, of course. Um, here's the same as with the banks because I've ticked the flag do not allow manual entry I'm not it I won't be able to post it directly onto this onto the general ledger account because I have to go over the sub ledger in this case not the bank but the vendor so my first vendor account name my first vendor the invoice date is maybe the, the, the 15th of December so basically it's just the date on the invoice which is also the reason to calculate the base to calculate the due date. Since we don't have payment terms yet, um, it will be anyways the same date as the invoice date. Good, the invoice number and the description. My first invoice for expenses. Good, credit. The credit amount will be 150 euros and I post it directly against the ledger travel costs with the CC in this case also admin so this means nothing else than the cost center admin dot did have some travel costs and something that I still not really like is at the moment so if I add here because I'm always working with this thing and and now how I can if I use here the tab, then I just end up still in this thing. Uh, okay, I will find something how, <laughs> but how it will work. Good. Um, so I guess, I guess I didn't connect it me. Let's see. I try. I try. It can be that there will be an error regarding um, a person to to approve this journal needs to be in here. No, it's not. Is it really? Hmm, okay. So anyhow, so let's try to post it and numbers. Perfect. So we posted our first vendor invoice. So this means nothing else than if I go here to my vendor and vendors that in the tab vendor transactions, yeah, transactions. I see my PI001, my first invoice, invoice number, and the balance is minus 150, and also the show open button is still the same and still available. Perfect. So, of course, this means now let's also have a quick look onto the trial balance. So, general ledger and then inquiries and reports trial balance. Of course, he posted also the 150 here to vendors, domestic, and against here the travel costs. Yep, absolutely. So, perfect. So, we that's that's it for this session. Actually, we'll move on with part four so with kind of payments and other kind of things regarding the vendor's subledger perfect